girls, babies in your diapers. Welcome to the Tiberius Show with your host, Tiberius Hoy. That's me, Tiberius. some very awesome stuff. We have a video about becoming a fashion designer, a book about enchanting on Minecraft, and we have a totally awesome guest. Today we have the one, the only, the amazing Victor Manuel Sanchez. Victor is the CEO of the VMS brand and a fashion designer. Yeah, thank you Tiberius for having me. Today we're going to start off with the video of the week and this is going to be a dress. And now it's time for the video game of the week. Today's video game is become a fashion designer. So this is a game on the agame.com platform. This game is made by Play Touch Games. It's a browser-based game, so you can play on any computer that has a browser. So I enter the game, and boy, does this place look interesting. There's a girl standing on the side looking at you. Well, um, you press the green play button. You are then presented with a lot of dresses, so you pick one and then it puts it on the girl. Then you, when you press next, you pick a hairstyle, and well, it magically appears on her, and then you pick the lipstick she wears, and then you pick the eye makeup, and then afterwards, you pick the next necklace, and then the bracelet, and then the earrings, purse, and even the heels. Finally, you select a pet that she will have with her. Afterwards, they show a runway, and the girl stands there and is judged. You get a score based on your selection, and you are told if the combination that you made is good or not. I give Become a Fashion Designer 2 out of 10 stars because it's not really that fun to get judged when they're only looking for one answer, to be a perfect outfit. You do not get to design your own stuff or even change colors. It would just pick out what was offered and then be judged on it. I think people would enjoy changing the colors and making their own outfits. Yep, I definitely agree with that. For 40 years, Playhouse Central Florida has provided education, independent life skills, and job training to thousands of Central Floridians who live with blindness or any degree of vision loss. Whether it's picking out clothes in the morning or just moving around your community and serving Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties, contact Playhouse Central Florida at 407 898 2483 or visit them online at playhousecfl.org. The Tiberius Show would like to thank one of our dedicated sponsors, Custom Designs Orlando. These guys are on Mills Avenue and do all sorts of stuff, ranging from photo ID badges, engraved signs, custom braille ADA signs, vinyl littering, to trophies and awards. They can ship products all over the United States. You can reach them at 407 898 Tiberius Show would like to thank one of our awesome sponsors, SlutchinoUS.com. These guys are very, very cool. They bring 21st century surface drainage solutions to reality. They can do corporate and government work. These are the guys that make roads and bridges safe in the rain. You can see all about them at SlutchinoUS.com. That website again is SlutchinoUS.com. And now let's talk with the book of the week, The Unofficial Guide to Minecraft Enchantments. This book was written by Linda Jazak. Linda is great. I got to meet her a year ago. And she let me read her book before it came out. Well, she remembered me and sent me a copy of her new book right before it was released. I worked at the back of the book. In fact, Victor, do you want to do the honors? Absolutely. Um, what will enchantments help you do in the Minecraft world? They make you fish better, mine better, and even walk on water. And I wish we could do that now. It would be like Jesus. <laughs> um, and they also find out their sh um, shimmering spells will help you survive better in Minecraft world. And now, what will you build? Okay. The official guide to Minecraft enchantments. So first off, this is not an AR book. So you don't get any points for reading it for all those school kids. Thanks. <laughs> but it is a good book about Minecraft enchantments. Okay, 
So first, the book explains how to enchant. So how to enchant first? Well, you need an enchanting table. And how to make an enchanting table is you need two diamonds and four obsidian and a book. Then you need lapis, and you can find that in a cave. When you want to enchant your item, you have to put the item in also the lapis, and then you pick an enchantment that you want. You can increase the level of the enchantment by having bookshelves two squares away from the enchanting table. The more bookshelves you have, that is two squares away from the table, the higher the level of the enchant you are allowed to do. Also, you need to have XP points. The best enchantments require level 30 XP level. Afterwards, you can go to an anvil and attempt to alter your enchants. You can take your enchanted item and now go use it. Each enchantment gives your item one or more abilities. Some enchantments improve your mining speed or how much resources you get when you break a block. Other enchantments make it faster to walk or even breathe underwater. Now that's really cool. I like the one that gives you endless arrows, so you don't have to collect arrows. And now you can use grindstone to remove enchants, and you can use an anvil to add more than one enchantment to your weapon or armor. So it's kind of like cheat codes. True. <laughs> I give the unofficial guide to Minecraft enchantments 10 out of 10 stars because, well, first, because I got to meet the author. Oh, and well, it was really cool that it had a purple shine. Well, technically, when your item is enchanted. <sighs> Hi, my name is Tiberius Boy. I work with your computer solutions. If your computer is not working, my dad can fix it. He can fix it on site or remotely. Just call him at 407 826 0810 and tell him Tiberius sent you. That's me. The phone number again is 407-826-0810. See, David Smith, law.com. You can call him at 407-801-2667. Wait, you are not Chuck. My dad can help when people get hurt. He loves to help people. If you are ever injured at work or in a car accident, you should call my friend Chuck. You can call him at 407-801-2667. That website again is cwsmithwall.com. Offices, Orlando. Does it actually have that much W's? <laughs> Mid-State Fire has been providing top quality fire equipment services for three generations to the Central Florida area. Don't wait for an emergency to repair. Call Mid-State Fire today at 407-246-8855. Get your fire extinguishers and emergency lighting for both your home and businesses by visiting www.midstatefire.com. That number again is 407-246-8855. And I saw the interview of an interesting person. Today's guest is going to be so much fun. Today we have the one, the only, the amazing Victor is the CEO of the VMS The Brand and a fashion designer. Thank you again, Tiberius, for having me. Mm-hmm. So first off, how are you enjoying being on the show? This is awesome. Your energy, this atmosphere, I love it. Thanks. Great. So you are a fashion designer. Can you tell my listeners what that means? Um, there's a lot of criteria or explanations, I guess, in regards to a fashion designer. Um, I just like to put my spin on it. It's just pretty much whatever I feel like. Um, and then I don't even go by seasons or styles or anything. I just, whatever I like, I like to put out and I construct it from my own eye. I don't even watch TV shows in regards to any kind of fashion or anything like that. Oh. So, do you design what the clothes look like? And does that just mean the colors or the shapes too? I do everything from picking out the fabrics, the texture, the colors, to cutting out the fabric, to putting it together, which makes the shape. Oh. That's amazing. <laughs> well, can you tell me more about being a fashion designer? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so I'll just take you a step-by-step process with you. Um, okay. So basically, come from my thought process. So that's the first thing. you got to sit down at the table. I sit down at the table with my, my uh, pencils and my uh, sketch sheets, and I start to sketch. But first, you got to figure out what season you want to do. So are we doing spring, summer, fall, winter? 
Um, so all those obviously matter because of the texture or the length of the clothes. So once we figure out which season we were doing, um, then we start the sketching. So, for example, if we're doing summer or spring, especially in Florida, there's a lot of swim sh- swimwear outfits, um, shorts, um, things like that for the summertime. Um, so once I figure out what the season is, then we start to draw, sketch. Um, if I'm sketching, that turns into a digital format because I scan onto my computer and then we digitally um, format it. And then from there, I'll use my patterns that we have which I actually made my own patterns um, and fabrics. So we'll take that, put it on the actual computer template, put it on the fabric, It's I mean on the digital image on the computer itself, and it'll do an autofill. So then we'll be able to exactly know how our garments will look on a digital computer. Um, I print them out, and then I pretty much use that as my master plan. Um, and then I'll, I'll start making the uh, pattern itself mm-hmm. from scratch. Um, and then, or if I need to drape it, or draping and pattern making are two different things. So I'll give you elaboration on that now. Um, pattern making is where you're actually drawing the pattern, the angles, and then draping would be where you are hanging fabric from the actual mannequin itself and forming it to the mannequin. Okay. So, can you tell me more about how you 3D scan it into the computer? Um, it's not really 3D scan. I'm not that technically inclined i just draw it on a piece of paper and then put it on the scanner and it scans it <laughs> that's the basic of i know okay so i can't 3d scan but i can 3d print oh yeah see i don't know how this turned out though <laughs> so it's right here it's the vms the brand oh logo. that's so cool oh this is cool <laughs> this is cool i need this <laughs> You made this? Yeah. Here? I made this on Tinkercad. This is so cool. Is so I mine? actually took is the... Is it mine? Or yeah, you're keeping it's it? yours. That's yours. Oh, we got a dab. Forgot. COVID. Boom. Thank and you so much. Really, how I did it is I actually found, uh, you know, where the picture came from. Mm-hmm. And I copied it, made it to an SVG file. And we only made it to a file, converted it to an SVG file. And then... I imported it onto um, Tinkercad, and it and it showed this. Thanks, T. Appreciate it, man. You're welcome. So, what is the best part about being a fashion designer? The, the seeing the, I guess the the excitement, the the happiness from my clients when they actually get their final product. Um, Money is good, but of course, to see my client, you know, what a smile, happy, and come coming to see me again, I definitely I enjoy that most. Mm-hmm. Well, I did look at your Facebook, and I saw your photos with all the models. Is it fun to look with, you know, lots of pretty girls? Oh, it's, a, it's definitely a lot of fun, Tiberius. I, I'll have you on, um, I want to shoot one day. You can come have some fun with me one day. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a good time. Definitely, okay. definitely good. So what is the hardest part about being a fashion designer? The, the, the actual design part itself. Sitting down, drawing, the, you know, drawing, cutting. It's tedious as sewing. And sitting in front of the sewing machine gets very, very, very tedious. Um, so that's, that's the only, I guess, the hardest part about it. Sometimes when you're sleepy. Oh, yes. Oh. You, you sleeping at 12 o'clock? No, you sleep at 3 o'clock when you're done. <laughs> so what design are you most proud of? Um, I'll say my trench coats right now. It's really that I've actually uh, been a l- real proud with my trench coats I've made lately. Huh. Did you ever start a design that you could not finish? Um, I have one that's in my room. That's crazy. You said I have one right in my room that's been sitting there for a year and a half. So, yeah, it has not been finished. It's still sitting there. One wow. day. Wow. One day. One day you might finish it. Yeah. Oh. So, what got you started in wanting to be a fashion designer? That's a long story. Um, I never wanted to be a fashion designer. Um, I guess when I started school, it was because I just got out of jail, prison, whatever. Um, and I had no other alternatives in getting a job. I couldn't, just nobody was going to hire me for what I went to jail for. Um, so I decided to pick up a trait. And I wanted to make t-shirts, actually. Like, just t-shirts to put logos on t-shirts. That was my whole idea, was it? Um, then I started school, and it's nothing like making a t-shirt. You're actually cutting fabrics and knowing drafting and pattern drafting and all that. So it, it's, it, it was a lot. So who helped motivate or inspire you the most in following your dream? My daughter. My daughter. Um, 
being like I said, being in a situation where I couldn't get a regular job and money was finance was an issue. Um, so my motivation to make sure she was taken care of, that you know all responsibilities was handled. Um, so I think that was the toughest part in regards to, or my motivation in regards to being a fashion designer. Okay. So while I was looking at your photos, I saw some awesome, awesome outfits. One girl had black tape on her front. Why is there black tape? Uh, it was to cover up her, um, her breasts um, and not showing anything that should have been shown on the runway okay. or video. So are you changing your designs because of COVID-19? Uh, I actually started making masks when, it first, uh, when we first got the COVID-19 warning. Um, but it really didn't alter anything. I just added more to my itinerary. <gasps> So I saw the red one with the cool face mask that looks like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. What gave you the idea to make Oh, that's a favorite. I actually got a couple of those. Well, the mask was actually done for 2018, or was it 19? I think it was 19, um, show in New York for the fashion show in New York on runway. Um, so that whole collection was based off of, um, like, going through a relationship from hell to good or from bad to good in a relationship and the red was just kind of like the you know, the hell of it um the the evil part of it so that's pretty much where that red dress came from okay so if you were to go back 10 years and tell yourself something what would it be save my money and invest into bitcoin <laughs> so i didn't have to work anymore okay so it was the biggest mistake you ever made and how did it change you as a person I don't think I have made any mistakes in regards to where it made me a bad person. So I like how you put that question. Um, every mistake has made me a better person in regards to from, like I said, went to jail. I learned not to do those things again. And the, being in the wrong crowd, the wrong people. Um, and not sticking to a plan that I should have stuck to when I was younger. Okay. What advice do you give my listeners if they wanted to grow up and become a fashion designer? Consistency is number one. You got to be consistent in this business. Um, number two is be unique, be different. And then three is never give up. So when you're designing the next awesome outfit, what do you do for fun? Um, I usually take my daughter out. We go out to, you know, kayaking or the, the water parks. Um, and mainly that's pretty much what I do for fun. I don't really go out anything especially now with the covid so we can't really go nowhere there's no sports to do we can't really entertain anyone so it's mainly just the lakes um just bought a new jet ski so we've been doing that a lot lately um and yeah just hanging out with my daughter jet ski in the lake trying to stay uh our social distance six foot rule so do you play video games and what's your favorite one um i do um definitely it's, it, it does kill time and really that's what it is to kill time um but I play um, Call of Duty, is uh, Warzone, the new one, Warzone, and um, I'm not that great, but that's, that is literally the only game that I play. My daughter has Minecraft, my daughter has um, Grand Theft Auto, she has all those games, but that's the only one I play is the Warzone. How that's old it. is your daughter? She's not old enough to play the games, we're not going to go there, Tiberius, okay? <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> How come you you're not don't... getting it. You're not getting it. <laughs> I literally have Grandpa's Auto on. I'm Epic. taking it home with me then, uh, so you're not gonna play with it. Well, it's already on my account. <laughs> but... Okay, so what is your favorite book to read? I'm not a really big reader, honestly, Tiberius. I don't really like to hey, read as much. Me too. You don't like to read? No. Uh, no. You don't. You don't seem like it. You seem like you love to read. <laughs> no. No, but I like to read. I, I'll watch a lot no. of TV shows, but like I don't. I don't. I don't like to read. I guess my dyslexia doesn't help. I just really watch videos all day. Play games. My daughter's the same thing. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yep. YouTube. She knows I how to like make everything in the world now, though, off of YouTube. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, can you tell me that one story? You know, remember, this is a kid's show. But that one story, well, that you're not supposed to tell me about. Come on, you can tell me. Um. Let me think. You got me on the spot here, brother. <laughs> well, okay. Um, recently, I guess this would be something that nobody else knows about. I still haven't told even my, uh, my girlfriend. Um, but when I first bought my dog... Three weeks ago, it's like I got a Siberian Husky. So I brought her, I got her in the car. First day we're going home, she took a nice urination in my seat. 
and it was the passenger seat. So whoever's been sitting in those seats, hey guys, <laughs> that's my story right now, my little secret. Wow. <laughs> so can you tell me more about the VMS brand and what it means? Absolutely. Uh, well, VMS um, is my initials. It was Victor Manuel Sanchez. Um, and then the brand, I, I just added on the brand. Um, I, it was just unique to me, honestly. Um, but my brand is really, it, it's sleek. Um, uh, it's, it's very sexy. Um, but I like to call my terminology is urban couture. Um, cause it's a lot of it is urban look. Um, but yet it has that couture look to it. So it stands out. It's different. It's not your usual outfit. I never really thought about that. It's a lot to go. It's a lot to do with it. No, I never thought the name was actually your name. Oh yeah. VMS. Yeah. I didn't yeah. really know that. Yeah. That's really cool. And the initials are in the logo itself. So it's a V, M, and an S. Mm-hmm. Well, is there anything I should think my listeners should know about you? Um, I'm cool father to my daughter. I hope she knows that. <laughs> but no, um, check out the website, please. Hopefully, I post it. Um, that'd be one thing for as well, which would be uh, www.vmscollection.com. You can find me there, as well as my uh, Instagram is VMS the brand, and that's V M S T H E B R A N D. Um, and as well as my Twitter is the same exact Twitter page. Okay. So, what is that one question that you think I forgot to ask you? Where's your outfit at? No, I meant like me bringing you an outfit. Oh. That was your question. Because I swear, I was on the way here and I was like, oh, I should have brought some shirt. And I forgot shirt. So I got you a shirt. Don't worry. I'll bring you one. Huh? I'll bring you a t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Victor, for being my special guest. Can you stick around for Math Corners? Let's do it. Aw, Dad, my computer's slow again and I can't play my games. Call your computer solutions today and we will scan for viruses and clean that computer up remotely and make it fast again. Our phone number is 407-826-0810. Thanks, Dad. My computer's fast again. Now I can do my homework. Thanks for calling your computer solutions at 407-826-0810. The Tribeer Show would like to thank Boggy Creek Day Road Adventures for being one of our sponsors. I got to go on an air belt and saw a real gator. I even got to go to the gem mine and mine for some gems. We ate a steak dinner at the restaurant and even got some gator rights. If you want to have a blast with the entire family, I suggest you go to www.bcairboats.com right now to get your tickets today. The website again is bcairboats.com. Oak Ridge Gun Range is a family-oriented shooting range that has been in business for over 30 years. They specialize in basic firearm training and offer numerous services such as consignments, gun trades, gunsmithing, and concealed weapon classes. I even got my training for gun safety at Oak Ridge Gun Range. Great customer service and firearm safety is what they do best. So find out more at OakRidgeGunRange.com. Tiberius' favorite subject, it's Math Corners! Thank you, Victor, for your help with Math Corners. So I tried to learn how math is used in fashion design, and boy, there was a ton of stuff on Google. Well, so I learned that most designers take, make their clothes for the runway at size 0 to size 4. Most models are size 0 to size 4, because it would be hard to adjust or make separate outfits for each person separately. So the sizes for women only go for even numbers. So a size zero has a 24 inch waist, and a size two has a 25 inch waist, mm. and a size four has a 26 inch waist. So if you were making a dress for a size two, you know from the data chart that the waist would be 25 inches. Now when you design for sizes zero to size four, the dress material will only differ between 24 and 26 waist. So if most models are the same size, it makes it easier so you don't have to have dresses in a bunch of sizes for the runway. Mm-hmm. So Victor, do you ever have to try and make a special dress because of the model is not a size zero to th- through four? Uh, in regards to our runway, um, 
Typically, no. Um, it's zero through four or even up to size eight is max. Um, so we usually make our garments first and then we pick our models from there. So they're usually all the same, like your, your research has found out is correct. I'm still trying to figure out how long. That's 28, I think. What? 28 inches. For what, size yeah. zero or size? No, no, size eight. Size eight? I think that's like 20 inches. Yep, it is. Yeah, 20 inches. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly, yep. They're from the dig chart. From each two gives one inch. Yep. Okay. I didn't. You just put me on some education. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Victor, for your help with math corners. Absolutely. And now it's time for Heart of a Lion. We the Tiberius Show like living with the heart of a lion. Living with the heart of a lion stands for leadership, integrity, obedience, and nobility. We asked Dr. Ferret exactly what that means. Leadership is really about influence. Leadership is, and the way we define it as good leadership, is about setting the right example and encouraging other people to do the right thing. Integrity is about doing right no matter what. Through life, there are a lot of different circumstances that arise, and integrity, someone who shows integrity, it doesn't matter what all the external things are, they always choose to do what is right. Obedience is about obeying those who are in authority over you, whether that's a teacher, a boss, a parent, that when you are asked to do something, that you respond with obedience quickly and completely. Nobility is about having respect. It's about carrying yourself with respect and showing respect to others. When you put these four things together, that's Lion Strong. This week, we're going to talk about obedience. For me, I think obedience is being fully committed to doing what is pleasing to God. The qualities of obedience are compliance with a good attitude and respect for the laws. You know when someone is obedient when they follow instructions willingly and thoroughly. So this week, we have a double show. So that means I need to write two sets of scripts, one for this show and one for the show on Friday. This is twice the amount of research in writing that I normally do. I also need to sign my new mask that came in this week. So that is a lot of stuff. My dad broke it up into sections so that it would, I would do 10 masks and then one part of the script and then take 30 minutes play break. But I was really distracted and wanted to just play all day. But I stuck to obedience and got all the scripts done. And now I can do my shows and they're going to be awesome. So, Victor, did you see or use obedience at all this week? Yeah, absolutely. And every single day. Okay. Well, how? Um, well, being obedient, obviously, like I said, I just got a new animal, a new dog. Um, her name is 13, the husky. Um, but every morning at 6 o'clock in the morning, I have to wake up, feed her, and then obviously take her for a walk. And then that's my schedule. So that's uh, being obedient would be definitely making sure that she's taken care of. Okay. Well, if all of the Harvard Lion virtues, which is your favorite? Um, I do like all of them because I'm a Leo, so I'm a lion. Like this is like perfectly up my alley. Um, but um, integrity is a strong for me. I think integrity can cover a lot of separate um, outcomes in your life. Um, it determines who you are as a person, um, and it also shows you what other people are. Okay, and we should always try and be lion strong in everything we do. Absolutely. And that's our show, folks. On a single one. for being on my show. Thank you. It has been so much fun talking with you today, and I can't wait to see some more of your designs when you make them. Maybe I can see one of you run my shows. Yeah, absolutely. Once the uh, COVID is lifted, once I have the next show, you can come out. But until then, um, definitely check out my website, uh, vmscollection.com, as well as my social media on Twitter and Facebook. I'm sorry, Twitter and Instagram. It's VMS The Brand. Okay, and be sure to listen to us next week on the Tiberius Show with the Tiberius Boo! The Tiberius Show is not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Executive producer, Joseph Boy. Production editor, Pierre Laguerre. Green Room manager, Danny Boy. And your program host, Tiberius Boy! The Tiberius Show is copyright 2018.